This is Ho Time, Ho Living. We're sitting with one of my favorite watch brands. Um, very, very unique. Tell us about um, the watches, these watches that you have right here. So these are the legacy machines. The legacy machine was born by the idea, what would we have created if we had lived 100 years ago? Now, you have to understand that everything which you will see in this Basel World Fair, in every watch store virtually, has been created before 1870. So what would we have created if we had lived then? So we had this idea that nobody had ever done a flying balance wheel. A flying balance wheel, a suspended balance wheel, it's a, sec it's a pocket watch balance wheel which is 14 millimeters um, diameter and actually floating on top of the dial. Why is that? Because in the 19th century, everybody was crazy about defying gravity. And what's the price point of this watch? Here we're at $93,000. And let's take a look at uh, one of my favorite watches. The Thunderbolt and its vintage variation, which you see here with the rivets. And actually, if I may show you here, the Second World War pinups, which oh, wow. were actually micro-drilled into the fuselage and painted on them. What do you have? Got one crown which winds the engine up and one crown which changes the time. Now, if I turn it round, you will understand what I mean. Here, if I wind it up, your power reserve goes up, it's your fuel gauge. And here, if I turn, you'll have actually the time changing. Oh, wow. What's the price point of these watches? Here we're at 220,000 US. Now the Frog is a little demented version of our machine number three. It was inspired A, by the frogs which were in the countryside of my childhood, and B, by Tim Burton's Mars Attacks. It looks like the heads of those little aliens who used to come in peace before they zapped everybody. So how does it work? You've got domes of aluminium turning under domes of sapphire, oh, which wow. actually protect the time. The hour indication is here, the minute indication is there. And it goes by fives on that. Look at the minutes. Look at the art. I mean, this really is a, I mean, it is a machine. We craft about 10 to 12 pieces a year of this. Frog. What's the retail value of the uh, frog? I frog and machine number three are $93,000. That's and the horological machine number three. It has a family sense with the frog. The difference being, in this case, you actually have a hand going around here in 12 hours and the minutes going here. And uh, you've got the date which is suspended on ruby pallets, which goes around all these axes and everybody wonders how does this actually work. Wow. There we go. So you can go back and forth, adjust it as you want, and you can see the hours here, the minutes there. Well, Max, I want to thank you because uh, I know at Basel you're very, very busy, but I want to thank you for sitting down with us, but also educating us and really giving us an inside look at your passion. And congratulations on your success. Thank you.